The time is finally here. The US Open men's draw preview. That's right. And we've got Yannick Sinner. He's coming off the back of doping allegations. Djokovic, has he got injured during his first practice? And Carlos Alcaraz, he's looking to go for three Grand Slam titles in a row. Stick with us. We're giving you our predictions. That's right, then it is US Open time. And as those who are looking at the video right now and not listening to the audio, you can see I'm in a very picturesque place. I'm in Italy at the moment doing some undercover investigations on what's happening with Yannick Sinner. Um, no, joking, I'm only here seeing my family. But I couldn't miss this episode because the US Open is just around the corner and there's so much happening in the tennis world right now. We've seen the draw come out. Ben did a great reaction the other day. Um, you mentioned some big players in your intro. Djokovic injury, I'm not buying into it too much. I think he's always going to be there or thereabouts. And I'm never going to buy into any Djokovic injuries ever again. Um, Yannick Sinner, I'm not sure what we're going to be expecting from him. Sim, Sim, off the court, has been really tough for him, I must admit. And the man you've not mentioned is Daniel Medvedev. I am mm. really anticipating some big, big things from him this year. We know he loves the US Open court. And... Mm. He may have a point to prove because he'll, he'll go under the radar. Everyone's not talking about him. They're talking about Yannick Sinner, number one. Adekar, they want to see what he can do. And Djokovic. Medvedev, though, I think he could be a bit of a sleeping giant and do very well. Yes. I mean, his form coming in is the reason that people aren't talking about him. Obviously, went out early to Lehechka in his last tournament. But everybody is talking about Yannick Sinner. He won Cincinnati. That was a massive result for him. And even during the controversy, he was able to keep it together and like battered in a bit of a hip injury as well. Still able to win Cincinnati. But big news coming out as well uh, ahead of this US Open draw. And it is that Sinner has parted company with the physio uh, that led to those uh, inadvertent contamination of his samples. And he said, because of these mistakes, I am not feeling that confident to continue with this physio. So what do you make of that? Well, it had to be done. It has to be done optically and it might help him distance himself from the allegations a little bit and what's been going on. I think his whole credibility is in the balance and there's going to be a lot of people questioning him as, as a sportsman and individual. Uh, hopefully he can get through this period. I know during the US Open press conferences, they didn't allow many questions. There was one very soft one and beyond that, they've kind of ushered it away. You've got the great meme of Yannick Sinner counting all the negative tests and people saying, oh, is that, <laughs> is that him talking about Nick Kyrgios' brain cells? You've got moments of this, what we see on the screen now, Yannick Sinner yeah. trolling the world, uh, getting a massage. <laughs> watching <laughs> Nick Kyrgios. <laughs> watching <laughs> Nick Kyrgios. <laughs> I mean, yeah, listen, I'm hoping he can get through it. And he's such a brilliant tennis player. It'll be a shame if this does ruin his reputation completely. Um, Let's see. I think it may be too too soon this year, Simon, for him to be at his best. With all the noise going outside off the court, I think it's going to be really tough for him to, to remain focused and avoid all of that external pressure. But let, let's wait and see. I mean, he's definitely got the ability to do well. Yeah, and he has, uh, well, in one of his uh, press conferences, he did say, whoever knows me very well, that uh, I would never do something against the rules. I also know who my friend is and who is not. Uh, about my reputation now, we'll see. I can't control this. I can only move forward. So he's trying to put it to the back of his mind. He's trying to say that's in the past now. The only thing I'll bring up, which I know that a few people are going to question, is he's obviously got rid of this physio now rather than after he got the positive test results. That's a bit weird, isn't it? It's just like it's yeah. sort of vic he's a victim now of the fact it's come out in the media, this physio. And Sinner would have probably kept him on had this not come out. So that's the big stain there is you should have got rid of him straight away, really. If that had come out, doesn't matter if you're friend, not friend. If you know it's going to come out in the future, you need to like make that decision early on. And I think that that doesn't sit too well with me that the fact he's kept him on and just got rid of him because it has become public. That's the, the main thing. Yeah, in terms of the draw, uh, speaking about tennis now, I know we can easily talk, speak just about Yannick Sinner and everything else going on off the court. Uh, he is on the same half as Carlos Alcaraz. Yes. Um, 
which means we wouldn't get them in a final. That is probably one of the best matches we've seen in the US Open in recent years. It was fantastic when they played a few years ago. Yeah. Um, but Djokovic will rub his hands together. If he can get a good run together and feeling good. And this, what is this latest injury? Is his knee? Um, what, for uh, Djokovic? We don't yeah. know. This is the thing. He, he was training with Holger Luna uh, and he ended it early due to some discomfort. They were due to move over to uh, Arthur Ashe, but mm. in the process of moving over, he just said he couldn't continue. And then now the media is all speculating the worst. I mean, obviously, the knee would be the first thing you would look at, but he hasn't released what it is. So probably a good idea not to release it. And hopefully it's just it's something minor and he just didn't want to play because they were playing a very very high intensity training so not worth continuing with it if you just want to actually go deep in this tournament but i don't think it's even worth discussing then because you know Novak Djokovic he's doing a little oh I might be injured then he's going to turn up and win uh, everything and complete tennis again uh, but I don't think he can do any more of that because he seems to have won everything already so what more can he even want why don't he just let someone else win the US Open well, there you go. So that moves on nicely to the next uh, image, which is the past champions. It is Novak Djokovic as the reigning, defending, four-time US Open champion. That was number 24, uh, as we remember, and the last slam that he won. So we've gone the whole year. He hasn't won a slam this year. Will he win it again this year? We will have to wait and see. Carlos Alcaraz obviously won it the year before and Daniel Medvedev the year before that. So we haven't had back-to-back -back champions at this uh, event since, I mean, we have to go back of, till Roger Federer in 2007, 2008. I mean, that's, cr that's how crazy this tournament is. Anybody on their day, if they're playing well, could win the US Open. Okay, right. That's the previous champions. Uh, seems to always be someone who didn't win it the year before. So not good for Novak Djokovic that reading. <laughs> but I think he does things which people don't do usually on a tennis court. So if anyone can, it will probably be him. A number one seed for this event is, of course, Yannick Sinner. He remains yeah. number one despite losing them points from Indian Wells. Yep. Uh, Novak Djokovic right at the bottom. He's number two. And Kaz unable to close that gap. So let's get straight into it. And the first matchup is Yannick Sinner, Mackenzie McDonald, an American playing against Yannick Sinner. The crowd's going to be up for it. He may be getting goaded in his first match back. Is the pressure going to get to him? Is he going to go down two sets or is he going to be OK? I think he'll be OK because Mackenzie yeah. McDonald is not one of the more feared Americans. Yeah, I think that he'll be fine. I think I expect straight sets victory in this one for Yannick Sinner. I... I feel that his temperament and the way he handles himself uh, inside and outside the court is going to be tested. But I think we're going to see how he takes to the first real controversy in his career, which is an off-court one. I think that he'll be fine at this stage of the tournament. We might see it come under a bit more pressure as he goes later in. We've got Mickelson up against an, uh, a qualifier American, Elliot Spazieri. Don't know much about Elliot, but... Done well to qualify, but I'm have Mickelson going through. Yeah. Keep going down. We got Bellucci Vavrinka. Um, I'm gonna go Stan. Love yeah, that backhand. Jarry versus Chris O'Connell. I'll be going Jarry here. I think he's a bit yeah. too good. Ar sure. Arthur Fee or Arthur Fees, sorry, against Lerner TN. It's a wild card in. Fees surely who's strong there. Yeah, definitely. I may need to put my phone down and just hold it somewhere because. I'm holding it up and it's just too difficult. So I'm going to yeah, yeah. leave it here. No worries. You might, do that. you might have the best angle of me, but it just saves my arm a lot. Look at that sky. It's completely bit. different to here in the UK. It's raining here in 16 degrees where you oh. are. 32, is it? Well, it's probably not today, but it's still really hot. Yeah, um, it looks definitely nice. Definitely over though. 30, actually. So probably close. We've got Diallo versus Munar. Uh, um, I'll go with Juan, Juan Munar. I'm going to go with there. I'm going to go Diallo to qualify. I've got through some tough matches. Um, I think uh, playing some good stuff at the moment. I'll have Lukic beating Purcell. Paul beating Sonego. I'm going to have Purcell Sissipas. Was, was Sissipas at the UTS? We should speak about it briefly. But Gal Monfils ended up winning that final against Bublik, of all people. Yeah. Bublik finally having a good tournament at UTS. And Gal Monfils probably been one of the real outsiders would you say like the last few weeks it's been fantastic well, did so well against carlos alcaraz 
And I don't yeah. know if you've got any of his results recently, but he could be like one of the ones to watch this tournament. Well, Imagine if, if he you, is to win the US Open this year. Well, if you were to see his draw as well, it is a very winnable section yeah. he's in. So he could potentially be in a quarterfinal, I reckon, at this US Open if he plays his cards right. But yeah, very encouraging signs. He obviously beat Alcalaz. Close match against Holger Luna, who was playing yeah. incredibly. But Sissipas Kokonakis, could we have our first casualty of the US Open and will it be Stefano Tsitsipas? Um, not for me. I'm going to have Tsitsipas going for it. Yeah, not for me either. I don't know. Maybe Kokonakis... if it was Popperin, I'd go for it. If it was Popperin, oh. Tsitsipas, I'd be back in Popperin. Popperin too high in the rankings probably these days. Uh, yeah, he's too Bord... good. Since Borges... he's got GTL, he's a different player. That's it. That's what happens. GTL effect. Uh, maybe Kokonakis will come knocking on the door next. Uh, we got Borges. I'll have to beat Collier. Yeah, me too. Tara Daniel school K. I'll go with Tara Daniel. Yeah, definitely. I'll have... Tough one. Tough one for Ooh, Felix. What do you reckon on this? Jakob Mensik versus Felix Oja Aliasim. Let you go I'm first. Gonna, I'm going to go Mensik. I'm going to stick with Felix because because of recent results. I've been impressed with him. He seems to be a little bit back to old, but tough I don't match. Think it means much though. He can just lose. I'll have Caboli yeah, <laughs> winning this one. Yeah, Caboli. I'll go Dutch. Bergs to beat Kotto. Yep. I'll have Marazan beat Medvedevic. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go Medvedevic to knock out Malazan. Medvedev already said I like him. Yeah, to Paulo beat Paulo Alcaraz to beat the qualifier. Yep. Uh, Denis Shapovalov, very vocal on Twitter at the moment. Is he going to mm. be just as good on the court? Tough map against Butik. I think he's going to win, though, in four yeah. sets. Yeah, Butik, not the same Butik as before. Gaston Diaz Acosta, strange on two clay quarters. Mm. I'll go Gaston, I think, just. I'll go Diaz Acosta then. But that's, that's one of their matches. I don't think it's going to be a very pretty one. Well. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Draper to beat Zhang. Yeah, to be on uh, to be Goffan. Yeah, to be Um He'll let you down. Chorich to beat Manorino. Man, that's a tough one to call, actually. It could be... Manorino's having a good year. I think he's having a tough one. Yeah. Him I and Gasco. I might change it. I don't know. Maybe Manorino. Uh, I don't know. I'll stick with Chorich. Fanini, Mahat. No, I'm saying Manorino's not having a good year. I'm going to go Chorich as well. I'll have Mahat beating Fanini. Yeah, I mean, he's having a much better year. Corner to beat Mutet. Yeah. Dimonor. To beat Marcus. Uh, Marcus, uh, no, it's Marcus Giron, I believe. So uh, I've, I had somebody correcting me the other day. Um, well, you only need to use it again because he's going out. Yeah. <laughs> Mertonen. Mertonen. Or Alice. I'll have Vertonen, yeah. I'll go Altmaier. Oh, not Navone. Karnoff. No. Yeah. Analdi. Yeah. Oh, yep. I bet he's rich. Um, I'll go Sefulin. I'm going to go Forbes. I'm going to go for a little bit of an upset. Yeah, Ben likes his money. Of course he does. That's it. Money man Ben. Um, Jordan Lestien. Thompson's beat Lestien. Oh. Scatov. Thompson's another one, by the way, having a good season. Yeah. Scatov, I believe, just knocked out... Uh, I think it was a Brit in the last round. Of, uh, Billy Harris, that was it. Knocked him out in the last round of qualifying. Yeah, so, not that great. Who you heard catch levels above that? Yeah, definitely. Casper Rude. Finalist at US Open. Gal Monfils, Diego Schwartzman. What a brilliant match. Schwartzman, amazing for him, getting through the qualifying, really pleased. He did well. has to go through it. You'd probably think this is going to be his last ever US Open. Monfils, probably got another one in him, which is insane because he's older yeah. than Schwartzman. Uh, but I'm going to have Monfils, like you said, he can do some real damage this year, the way he's playing at the moment. I'll have Buena beating Twinsky. Yeah, with their both two UTS players as well. We spoke to at UTS, <laughs> Kelman Fees, Diego Schwartzman. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Cobias Buena to beat Chwinski. And Bublik. I'm going to go Shang here to beat Bublik. Ah, oh, how dare you. I, I, tell me if I'm wrong. Shang has won the juniors here at the US Open. Yeah, I believe so. So, yeah, it's not, well, it's did not I make that crazy. That it's not that crazy. So, I'm I'm not mad at that selection. He just withdrew from Winston-Salem after beating Komasana and Navone in straight sets. So he's in quite good form coming in. Okay. Uh, Montero, Umber, I'll have... Um, Umber for me. Umber. Stricker, Komasana. Yep, Stricker. Stricker. Berrettini's beat Ramos. Fritz. Fritz. 
Runa. Oh, I mean, Runa's one's tough, but I'm going to go for him. Nakashima has been good recently. That is a really tough draw. I mean, he's had it, Runa's draw is one of the worst, I have to say. Yeah, Cause... Runa's no way going to win. I think I think this opening round match is a five-setter in itself. Look who Runa, we could have Nakashima. second second round. Pablo Carreño Buster, who's just coming back into good form as well. A semi-finalist in the US Open no, previously. That's not that good. He's quite I'll good. have Buster winning, but it's not that good. Okay. Buster's not as good as, as, good as Nakashima. Okay. I'll have Kezmanovic to beat Nishi- Nishioka. Yeah. Massetti Ope- Opelka. Wow, Massetti. Got to be. Um, yeah, I can't. Opelka's not been active enough. And what about this one? Game to love special, this one. <laughs> you might have to stream it live <laughs> on, on the podcast. Who do you reckon? Players. I spoke to both of them. I look like one. I beat one in tennis. So. <laughs> look like one. Yeah. Which one? Which way do you go on this? I mean, we've got alliances are really like down the middle. I'm sort of shying towards Offner a little bit. I don't know go why. Go for it then, because I'm going Surundola. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Offner. Go on, just because I don't know. I can't pick really. Sorry, Surundola. And Pechi go... Pericard. Yeah, to beat Echeverri. Uh... Adam Walton. Yeah, this is a weird section. Zverev to beat Rusevori, but drops the first set, I reckon. Rublev, Rublev Sabreville. I feel like they've played recently in a slam opening round. I think that was Medvedev, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like Sabreville always has someone good. You know what I mean? Early yeah. doors. And then we talk about he could win, and then he gets a set or two and does well. It's like this Rublev Sabreville match will definitely not be straight sets. Yeah, I mean, Rublev. But I'm going to have not... Rublev win him. Not been in any sort of form, but Rublev has a good section. If he wants to go far uh, in this tournament, it's there for him. Right. I'm going to have Ryan Dineck beating Eubanks. Eubanks has been terrible this year. Oh, yeah. Um, By the way, if Rublev wants to get to his first semi final of a slam, he will probably have to beat Novak Djokovic. <laughs> That's his quarter. So it's not the best he's news. He's done it before. For... He's done it in Serbia. So. Yeah, well, that's it. I mean,. Right, Ryan Denek to beat Eubanks. I don't know if you're going to bother with Eubanks. I've already said it. Yeah, okay, cool. Kruger, missed, I'm going to have... Are you not listening, Ben? No, I can't hear. I'm blinded by the sunlight at your end. <laughs> Lehechka to, yeah, beat, Lehechka to beat Futsovic. Um, yeah. Baez, Darderi. I'm going to go Darderi. Why not on the hard courts? Oh, yeah. I'll have Greeks will beat in the Gal. Yeah. Hina, uh, Dimitrov. Yeah. Yes. Shep- Team's done, surely. This is this is probably going to be his last US Open, I think. Sad. And I'm going to have Shelton winning. I'll go Nardi to beat a goot. But that could a... be a five-setter. Yeah, I'm going to go a goot in five. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Well, Quick for Chef... Shevchenko. I'm going to have Shevchenko. As as Come, on, to him. Come on, Chev. Love him. It's always uh, good to speak to players, isn't it? Because I feel like we're back on more. Yeah. Um, I'll have TFO beating Kovacevic. There's Definitely. one of yours. Your boy. Pop Bren. Straight through, not even a question asked. Could be anyone I'm putting him through. Uh, Pedro Martinez there. I'll have Jan Leonard Struff and Djokovic to beat Albot. Yeah, that's okay. Interesting. Right, let's get that's half the draw done, as you like to Finally. say. If you are Halfway playing, there. if you're playing along at home, make sure to download TNNS app. Uh, we forgot to say that before, yeah. and then join our fantasy league, Game to Love. It's the one with about three thousand people in there, and you can play along at home. There is a prize for the winner if you win our league. So uh, yeah, yeah, make sure to jump in. And it's always good if you're listening to me and Ben right now and thinking, what kind of picks are these? Make sure leave what you think we've done terribly wrong in the comments section because I like to look at what you guys think. And secondly, test yourself. Enter the league, download the app, play TNNS. And see if you can do better than me and Ben. And then put your money where your mouth is. It's always That's the best it. way to do it. Let's see and, that. Uh, wish Moolah. you the best of luck. That's it. I'm going to have Sinner beating Mickelson. Yeah. Um, Jarry Vavrinka. I feel like I just want Jarry versus Sinner because it's two players who have been in <laughs> controversy uh, with, uh, obviously... No, I'm going to go Stan with Renka. Okay, no worries. I, I quite and like that. Go... Yeah, of course you do. I, I want you that to be the headline. Then, I want that big headline to be out and everyone's just talking about that much. I'm very close to where he lives, you know, right now. I could yeah. go knock on his family door, find out some, do a bit of an investigation work later on. Well, yeah, please do. I mean, I can't wait. Go and speak to some of the locals, get some of the, the lowdown and what they think about the allegations. That would be good. Tommy Paul to beat Max Purcell, although Tommy Paul has been in terrible form since uh, since Wimbledon, I think. Yeah, but he's draws all right at the moment. Yeah. I'll go 
gorgeous sister pass. I'm gonna go sissy for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go sister pass as well. I'll have Tara Daniel to lose to Mensik, definitely. I'm gonna have Felix go going to Kaboli to beat Bergs, yep, Medvedev same. to beat Marazan, yep. and Kalaz to beat Shapovalov and avenge his good friend Yannick Sinner. Yeah, I think he's going to do him as well comfortably. My prediction is if we get an Alcalá Shapo, it's going to be like a one, two, and one or something like that. Are we going to get Draper Alcalá? Uh, I think so. Yes. Yeah. Why not? I've got Tobio to be Chorich. Yeah. Corder to be Mahach. I'm gonna. To... I think I might go Thomas Mahach. Just an upset. Uh, Dimonov to beat Vertman. Charnov, he's quite good at the US Open. Yeah. Arnaldi. Nice. Yep. I'm going to have Jordan Thompson knocking out her catch. That's one it's of the big shocks of the tournament. It's a, it's a weird one, this one. I feel bad for her catch. Obviously, your mate. Um, he's struggling with injury, withdrew from the last tournament yep. after a set against I don't think TFO. he's going to be fit. But yet, you're going to put him through. I'm going right. to put him Great through because I think there, he'll then. serve his way into the third round, and that's all that's gonna he's going to need. Monfils Mon- to beat Casper Ruud. I'm on the bandwagon too. Let us Looking know at home if you are. <laughs> uh, Shang to beat Buena. Be Look what I'm going to have. I'm going to have a rematch of the UTS final. It is Bublik Monfils. Two players we've spoken to. Love it when we get a GTL matchup. Okay, um, I'll go Umbert Stricker. Berrettini to... Um, this is a tough one. This is really horrible. Yeah, I mean, I'd be interested. I'm going to Berrettini to beat Fritz. Give me like just one second because I could, like, even though they're two like sort of similar style the players. Head to head's not going to mean anything then. I think it I know will. you love it, but it don't. Okay. It don't. So I remember three... a few years ago, we was looking at Berrettini and the only people to beat him in Grand Slam when he was really good was Djokovic on the Dow. That's, he was to always do well in Grand Slam apart from them too. So I'm basing he it on that. Never beaten Fritz. Lost three out of three. He'll win this one. There you go. So I'm going for it. It's just based upon head to head. Rune to beat Busta easily. Yeah. Massetti to beat Kazmanovic. Oh, I love that next match that's coming up. Sorundolo to beat Pericard. Off now. Go on, the off. Uh, Zverev to beat Walton. It's not, not bad for Zverev, is it, Ali Dorn? Yeah, I mean, it's a very good draw. Rublev as well. It's not bad. Lehechka. This is the real tough one. Yeah, I think so. Go on. Talon Greek sport to beat Dardelli. What was the really tough one? No, I think it, this is Lehechka going through. Will be now. That was the really tough. Oh, one for apologies. Rublev. The next yeah, match, yeah. I was going to say, gosh, I don't think uh, well, Kruger Kruger's that good. <laughs> well, qualified. Um, Fakina, dairy for me. Yeah, Fakina or Dimitrov. That's a weird. Dimitrov. One. Dim- I think Dimitrov, but that could be a. If Fakina turns up, could be like a four sets or maybe even five. Shelton, Shelton to beat, to beat Nardi. TFO. See if I Poprin and Djokovic. Poprin. Oh, how are we getting this match up again as well? I mean, it's like, Poprin, Djokovic. I mean, go and check out if you I haven't already. He's, gonna, he's not going to be pleased to play it though, Djokovic. It's no. a tough match for him. Uh, yeah. If you have someone who just won a Masters on Hardcourt, would you want to play him? Uh, I was going to say, if you haven't done so yet, go check out uh, our interview with Alexi Poprin before Wimbledon, where he spoke yeah. about facing Djokovic in uh, the Wimbledon draw, which he actually did in the end. It's, I mean, it's an amazing thing that now he's going to be playing him again, uh, potentially. Yeah, you can find that on the Patreon, I believe. Yeah, join it's that. Not live. As little as £3 a month. Right, Sinner to beat Jarry. Yeah. Uh, fees. Fees, Paul. Mm. Yeah, fees for me. I'm going to have Tommy Paul going out. No, I'm going to go Tommy Paul. I'll have Recent. Sissipas to beat Mensik. Medvedev to beat Kaboli. Sissipas to Alcaraz beat Alcaraz Draper. Wow. Alcaraz will have him, I think. But yeah. Draper will take a set. For me, I, I feel like it'll be, it'll be straight sets. That's my, I'm sorry, Draper. But I don't think you're on anywhere near the level of Carlos Alcaraz. Corder to beat Tadio. Keep with the American theme. I'm going with my Dimonor to beat Hachano. Yeah, Dimonor as well for me. Arnaldi to beat Thompson. Arnaldi to beat her catch. I think Arnaldi has a good draw in this, and he has a potential to do well. Same as Dimonor. Yep. Monfils um, to beat. Yeah, Boudin. why not? Gets this easier I mean. for Monfils. This is what I mean. It's not. A Same bad with Berrettini. It's not bad for him if he can get through the round before against Fritz. Uh, so I'm going to go Berrettini to beat Umber. I'm not Fritz. Bruno Massetti. 
I know you said it's really easy for Rona. It's not that easy. No, I didn't say I mean, it was easy. I said it's, oh, sorry, I said it's really bad. hard. Yeah, I said it's a bad yeah. draw. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, it is definitely bad because I think Mastet is going to knock him out. I'm going to stick with Holger Luna for now. I'm impressed by what I saw at Cincinnati. I'd bet Sasha Zverev could be on the menu for him in round four, which is not easy. Yeah, agreed. And I'll have Rublev going out at this round to Lehechka. I mean, a player like, I like a lot. It's not a bad call at all. I mean, Yuri Lehechka, he just beat Daniel Medvedev on a hard court. He looked, but he did lose to Francis TFO. So that is a little bit of a one or the other. I'm going to stick with Rublev. I'm going to think he's going to win this. I think it's going to be five sets he'll win in, though. It's going to be okay. a real, real marathon match. And these yeah. last few, they picked themselves for me. So I have Dimitrov. Yeah, yeah. Shelton is going to beat TFO. I think he, did he beat him before here? He definitely uh, beat a really good American at the US Open, Shelton. Let me just I think have he beat double... Tommy Paul and then Fritz or something and then lost to Djokovic. That was well, he's got two... Down. Do you remember? Two, I the phone down. It was, yeah, it was, it was a TFO he beat, and it was uh, oh. in last year's US Open. It was yeah, a yeah. quarterfinal. Yeah, I so, do remember that. And um, so I remember the hype going into it. Of course, they're really good friends, both of them. I think Shelton would do him again. And at the yeah. bottom, Djokovic will beat Popperin, and it won't be straightforward. It will be close. Four Maybe sets? four or five. Oh, I'm going to stick with four. I think four Popper nights, four set last and against everybody you. wants this matchup. I mean, I, I always when we make it happen in the draw previews, I feel like we ruin it. It was like the Karats of Nadal one, which uh, never Yeah, but this is actually ever. the best. This is the best match of yeah. the, of the, what's it, quarterfinal? Four. No, round four. of 16. Yeah, yeah, fourth round. So let's go back to the top. Yannick Sinner versus Arthur Fees. Uh, I think surely Yannick Sinner has too much for him. Agreed. And I think he'll beat Tommy Paul as well because Paul's not doing very well and Sina will have, even if he's not, his head's not there, he'll still win that match. I'm going to have Medvedev beating Sissipas in straight so, sets. I'll have Medvedev beating him, but I reckon it'd probably be in four, though. Sissipas grab one. Corda always collapses when he plays Alcaraz. Doesn't seem to be able to reach that height. Uh, so I think Alcaraz will have him. I'll go Dimonor to beat an Aldi. I'm going to an Aldi. In this one, just as a bit of a shocker, I think there's going to be someone who comes through this draw we're not quite expecting. I think he will be the one who makes the quarterfinals people weren't yeah. expecting. My dark horse is Monfils more so, so I'm going to have him beating yeah. Berrettini. Yeah, I'm going big on Monfils as well. I love it. <laughs> I can't, I love, absolutely, I want it to him. happen. I want it had to happen so bad. I don't know what. I just absolutely love Gal Monfils. And if this is... Like the it's like sort of the Daniel Collins thing at the moment. I love seeing her doing well in what could be her last year on tour. I, it can't might not be Monfils' last year on tour, but I just love seeing someone with that energy, that personality, just do well, and especially someone we've spoken to before. So, and I think he's going to be playing Sasha Zverev. I don't I don't think Holger Luna will get past Zverev. Agreed. And at the bottom, I'm going to go for Lehechka to beat Dimitrov. Mm. I mean, this is a and weird Shelton, one for me. Shelton to knock out Novak Djokovic. I mean, the big, Rupert... the big call I'm going for is Novak Djokovic to be to be going out. He's not going to go very far. He's still going to be celebrating his gold medal, and Ben Shelton will knock Novak Djokovic out in five sets. Uh, and and then put the phone down on Novak Ah, uh, no, I'm not having that. I'm definitely not. Well, I've got. It would different... be funny though, man. It would be. It would be quite comical because it would be a meme that goes around the world for probably months afterwards. I'm. I'm not having it. I think Djokovic does the same again to him. I think as soon as he works out the serve, then Shelton is doomed unfortunately. So and I think it will take one set to work it out and then he'll come back and win him four. That's my personal opinion. The big question is how injured is Djokovic? How motivated is Djokovic right now after just completing tennis like to even come here and win the US Open? That's my big fear. Like, does he need to? Does he, does he bothered anymore? Yeah, but it's another Grand Slam, isn't it? I think Grand Slams is what really he does get up for. Um, so in the quarterfinals, I've got one, three and four. Just missing Djokovic. I can believe you've got the one, two, three, four. Um, well, that would be right if it's Ben. This is the quarterfinals, so we see how we get when we get to the semi-final. This is a big one. This is Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Sinner, and 
Sin has been done no favours in this draw whatsoever. He's got a, like, a fairly difficult draw. He's being punished, I think, with what's happened. They've been like, oh, yeah, let's sort that draw out a little bit. Let's make <laughs> him a tough one. And let's make them he's... balls a bit warmer. Make sure he gets Sin on a tough one. Big and he's draw. facing now, obviously, the person that he lost to in the last Grand Slam quarterfinal. He faced Dan and Medvedev in the Wimbledon quarterfinal, lost to him. I believe it was five sets. Is he going to lose to him here at the US Open yes. as well? Yes, he has been. I'm going to have Dan Medvedev knocking out Yannick Sinner. Too much has been going on off the court, and I don't think he's going to be able to compete. He's also, I believe, broke up with his girlfriend, uh, oh, Karen Skaya. That happened just a little bit before. Maybe she knew stuff that was going on. I don't know. Oh. A lot going on with Sinner, and I think it's going to be too much for him to go really far at the US Open. So he's going to go out of the quarters. I'll have Alex, uh, sorry, Alex going, did not lose in as I'm, well to Carlos Alcaraz. I'm going with Yannick Sinner. I think that he will still be able to defeat Daniel Medvedev because I'm convinced on a hard court for some reason he's just had his number. I think he's going to beat him. I think it'll be in four sets. And I'm going to be going for Carlos Alcaraz because I yeah. want that semi final of. Alcaraz versus Yannick Sinner as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get it. Uh, at the bottom, so Boring Ben's gone for the 1-3 at the top. Let's see if he can do a full house with a 2-4 at the bottom. I'm going to have Sasha's there and beat him on fees. I think that's the end of the road for him. I mean, that's sad, though. I mean, could he not beat Sasha's there, do you not think? Go on, then, put like... him through. No, no chance. I don't think he'll beat Zverev. I think he's going to be tired more than anything physically. Not about his level. He does have the level. I think he's going to be a bit tired. He leads the head to head 3 1 against Zverev. That might Humphrey's shock does not you. have the stamina right now to go and beat Zverev after all of that. But you go do it, Ben, if you fancy. No, it. I can't. I'm sorry. I feel like it well, is. So far, just... we've got the what? 1 3 4. We're just waiting for Jocko. It's and you've got a full house, Ben, or 4 and Ben. I Didn't mean, need to do it. you could have just looked there... at the seeds, everyone at home, and been like, oh, well, not Ben's going to do 1 2 3 4. Is he going to be able to get past uh, Djokovic to get to his first ever Grand Slam semi-final for Andre Rublev right now? Who have you got at the bottom? Oh, Yuri the Lehechka, Ben Shelton. I, I mean, I have no idea who will win that. I'm going Djokovic to beat Rublev. Ooh. Going for the one, two, three, four. God. Do you need to tune in? <laughs> um, I'm going to go Ben Shelton. Oh, I mean, they're going back that and... I've gone for 5 3 4 13, so still all seeds. But the US Open does throw some surprises, and I think Ben Shelton's coming of age. He's going to have a big breakup tournament where he goes really far. And I think the US Open will be the one it happens in. And I'm anticipating Medvedev to go under the radar a little bit and go far. So, everything I've said, I think is going to happen. Zverev, I think, has been one of the best players in the last few months. Yeah. So, I'm really happy with my semi finals of Medvedev Alcaraz and Zverev Shelton. I believe. We're going to see. For me, Carlos, Carlos Alcaraz. Alcaraz. Yeah. yeah, for me. Because Carlos Alcaraz beat Medvedev. I think his draw is good, Carlos, in this tournament. And I think when he comes up against Sinner, this is when it's going to really show like the crowd's alliance towards Alcaraz above Yannick Sinner. And that is going to affect how that match plays out. And I don't even think it goes five sets. I think Carlos Alcaraz gets the mental edge and actually beats him probably in like four sets. And then they're one at the bottom. Zverev, Shelton. I'm going to have to have Zverev. I think Shelton's run his race. And I actually, he could do it if he's got this far. But I'm going the same. Zverev. And I'm yeah. having Sasha Zverev beating Novak Djokovic. And we get a repeat of the Roland Garros final. Sasha Zverev versus Carlos Alcaraz in the final. Yeah, we sort of missed the tournament, didn't we, with Wimbledon along with what we saw at Roland Garros. I think it's a sensible thing. Like, we don't know how fit Djokovic is. We don't know how motivated he is. I think Alcaraz, he's won the last two slams. He just got pipped to the gold medal. He's definitely still, I'd say, the most informed guy on the tour. It's just fair if he gets to another final. Surely he's going to win one eventually. Well, this is... It's, if he's going to win I'm tempted. One, I'm this... tempted more so now to put Zverev since I've seen you've gone out for that. I would have it as sort of 60% Alcaraz, 40 Zverev. But now you've gone the up that way, it makes me want to go the other. But I'm no. going to stick with my gut. I'm going to be upset if it happens. And I've got it right. And I didn't get my predictions right. So I'm going to stick with Alcaraz as well and have him defeating Sasha Zverev in the final. 
The the head to head between the two is six five in favour of Sasha Zverev, but Alcalaz has won their last two meetings. Obviously, the most notable one was the final of Roland Garros, in which he won it after coming back from two sets to one down. Um, they didn't they play? They played at the U.S. Open before, but that was uh, that was last year, wasn't it? And that was quarterfinals, yeah. and Alcalaz beat him in straight sets. I think there's just Coming into this tournament, I have one thought and one thought alone. And I feel that Carlos Alcaraz this year, in a Grand Slam format over five sets, is sort of becoming a bit unplayable. And I think he's going to be very, very driven. He doesn't look like he has all of these allegations or injuries or anything hanging over his head. I'm, I'm going Carlos Alcaraz. I think he will win three slams in a row in 2024. And me and you have gone for the same final and the same outcome. So I think a lot of people have that it final. For, we've doomed it for poor Carl. I think that a lot um, of people will have that same final. Well, let's see if it actually happens. Anyway, that is our predictions. Let dark us know horse? yours in the comments section below. We'll give our dark horse, but I think we kind of know who it is. It is, of course, Calmon Feast for both of us. Yeah, we've got him bit. going really far. Um, do you want to throw another name in there? I mean, I could throw in Lehechka as another yeah, one. I think that's a, could have I a great, great to tournament. Well. Um, and yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you everyone for joining. Apologies if the audio is not amazing. Uh, I've done my best and I need to go back with everyone because they're probably already wondering where I am. I didn't even tell many people, I just wandered off. So we've got some time with the family now, see what's going on and maybe I'll catch Yannick Sinner's family later on. Nice, right. Make sure to like, subscribe, so, uh, join us on Spotify as well. Leave us some reviews on there yeah. and we'll catch you for the women's draw preview. That will be coming up probably in a few more hours time. Yeah, see what Emma Raducanu has been saying. That's see you there. <laughs> see you Bye. guys. <laughs>